Hello YouTube. There's a big trimming tomorrow, Saturday, March 25th, 2023. It's the largest sale. It's the largest trimming of my knife collection ever. It's going to be huge. It starts at noon at Saturday, March 25th, 2023. It starts at noon and then we have another sale at 3 and at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It is a USA only sale. It is a PayPal only sale. Do not do friends and family. That will screw up my PayPal. They'll close me down. Just regular PayPal, okay? But you must have a PayPal. Each sale, you can't buy from the three from the uh, noon sale until exactly noon when I run a video. That means first come, first serve. I, I recommend that you look at some of my past sales on this channel and look at the description where you see the rules to give you a feel for how the sale will go. Okay? It's only happening here on the YouTube channel. And that's it. Now, what will happen is when you see the knife that you want, first come, first serve, you'll email me. In the subject, we'll have the number of the knife and a brief description of the knife. And in the body of the email, it'll say, it's mine. I'll respond, it's yours, or I'll respond, it's been sold already. You can buy more than one knife at a time. However, if you buy more than one knife, you must be committed to buying all of the knives. You must be committed to buying all the knives. Most of the time when people say, I want these five knives, I come back and say, three of them are available. Here they are. Okay? At that time, you cannot cherry pick. You need to buy those three. Or if you ask for five and you get all five, buy all five. If you don't, I will disqualify you from the sale. So you cannot cherry pick. Okay? Once I say it's yours, I'll give you the PayPal. You pay for it. All of the knives will be mailed out on Wednesday, the following Wednesday. Okay? So what you see in front of you is the 6 p.m. sale. We're going to go backwards. We'll do 6 p.m. I'm going to go over every knife. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. But remember, you can always fast forward, scan, or whatever on YouTube. Okay? But I need to get through these. Um, and then we'll do the 3 p.m. knives, and then, which are all Spydecos, and then we will do the new knives, which are all Spydecos. Over 130 knives, a lot. I'm scared. But here we go. As you can see, we also have some fixed blade knives. This is the Spydeco Respect buoy. CPM 154 steel, 7.9 inch blade, and it comes with this leather sheath. All of the knives come with sheaves. I'm going to try to show you the sheaves as we go. I'm going to try to get these things out of the way as soon as possible, too, because I'm very afraid I'm going to get stabbed. Ah, that's going to happen, too. This table is so screwed up, guys, that it's hard for me to show you the entire table so my setup is weird and every now and then the camera will fall I apologize for that okay <laughs> it's just the biggest sale I've ever done this is the province from Spydeco CPM 4V steel 6.8 inch smooth G10 full tang I will be posting the prices when I say the sale has started. So when I, at exactly noon, post a video, 
in the description, they'll have all the descriptions, they'll be numbered, and they'll have the price. I'm trying to type all this up, it's just me doing this, and so if I can do it late night tonight, I'll even put them on earlier on these videos, but don't count on it. The, the, the video that I post where I go, the sale has started, those will have the list of knives as well as the prices. Let me just tell you this, I have really discounted these prices. And also remember, I pay for shipping. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I do. This is the Spydeco Chef's Knife. Black Corian handle, full chief, VG10 steel, just a wonderful knife. That does not have a sheath because it's a chef's knife. Should be in your kitchen, right? The next knife, oh, this is a nice one. The Gail Bradley buoy. The Gail Bradley buoy. PSF 27 steel. Full tang, as you can see, 5.1 inches. Let's see, where is the buoy? Uh, I know guys, I've been stopped. <laughs> Here's the sheath for the buoy. All right. This is the sheath for the Provence. The next knife is the Spydeco Proficient. There's a lot of knives that aren't <laughs> you can't see in this horrible framing. But this is the Provence. This is so wonderful. I'll show you the Spydeco uh, Bushcraft later. But this was modeled after the Bushcraft. But with all really nice materials. S90V steel. 4 inch blade. Full tang. Carbon fiber. You see that? With titanium screws. Just a wonderful knife. That's the Proficient. And the Proficient knife is, again, a leather sheath. I'm not going to be able to keep up with the sheaths. Let me just tell you that all of the knives have sheaths. Most of them are leather. Four of them are Kydak sheaths. I'm taking too long on these. So I'm going to go fast, um, but they all have sheaths, okay? This is the Ronin 2. The Ronin 2, remember the Yojimbo? Well, this is the fixed blade for that. CTS BD 1N steel with that Warren Cliff blade, 4.0 one inches, has a Kydak scales. This is one of the newest of the Spydeco fixed blades. This is the Night Stick S30V steel, 4.1 inches. Let's see, what else we have? Oh, the Zoomer. Super popular. Let's see. This is the sheath that it comes with that has a place to put things, flint, and other things. Super smooth G10 scales. CPM 20 CV, 5.2 inches. You know, this sold for like $500. I can tell you, I'm selling it for less. Well, I'm selling it for between three and four hundred, less than four hundred dollars. Um, none of these knives, I haven't mentioned it. None of these knives have been used. <clears throat> All of them have the shop edge. 
Um, these are great knives. The next one is the Spydeco Temperance 2. Micarta scales. 4.9 inches VG10 steel. Here's the bushcraft I talked about. Remember I said the Provence was taken over by it. But this bushcraft, <laughs> Spartaco had a lot of consultation by some of the best bushcraft people. It has carbon steel, 01 carbon steel, so it's easy to sharpen out in the field. Smooth G10, full tang, just fills your hand and it's very comfortable for long use. Four inches, 7.7 .7 ounces, just a real nice knife. That is the Bushcraft. And then these two have really been sold out for so very long. These are the Hinderer Vintage Knives. I had all of the flippers that I sold about a year ago. These are the full blade knives. Sold out a long time ago. It's the Hinderer. You see the block? To keep it vintage, they used 01 tool steel. Those marks just come from it being in the sheaths. This is the ranch buoy. This is the sheaf. Wooden scales. 5.2 inches. The next one, this is the Hinderer Harpoon. Again, 01 tool steel, fixed blade, 5.2 inches. And this is the leather sheath for the Hinderers. All of these knives have been discounted. And of course, you don't pay shipping. Those are the fixed blades for this sale. Let me get some water, you guys. Hold on. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but I want to go through these. I'm going to go kind of fast through these other knives, okay? So I won't be opening a lot of them and closing them. I want to try to <laughs> keep this down a little. I know, a lot of knives. So I do have a Wee Knife Company collection. Most of these have been discontinued from Wee Knife. Every time I post them, people ask about them. So I'm going to go pretty fast with them. This is the Angst Flipper. Just wonderful. One of my best flippers. S35 VN steel with a dagger blade. 3.1 inch blade. Two, only two ounces. This right here is the Miscrant. 3.0, the smaller miscrant with the holes in it, super thin. CPM 20 CV steel, three inches, only 2.2 ounces. Here's the original miscrant. S35 VN steel, four inches. Here's the Isham uh, Floroma M390 steel with carbon and titanium. Here's the flipper from the late great Isham. This is the, I'm going to call it the Aterna. They spell it funky. Flipper. M390 steel, 3.2 inch blade. Again, 
those all four of those are hard to find this is even harder to find it's the deacon flipper with the titanium booster the carbon fiber blue 390 steel 3.2 inches and the bigger version of that is the bishop titanium bolster carbon fiber m390 steel 3.5 inch blade as you can see this is taking longer and i apologize for that again fast forward it scan it whatever i'm doing this because there is a sale this saturday march 25th 2023 at noon 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. It is PayPal only. It is USA only. So you must have PayPal. You can, when I, when you see it, when I say start at noon and then again at three and again at six, first come first serve, you'll email me in the subject. You'll have the number and the and the knife, name of the knife, in the body you'll you'll put it's mine. I'll respond it's yours, or I'll say it's already sold. If I say it's yours, yours, I'll give you my PayPal and tell you to send the money to it. You'll have ten minutes to send the money because there's a long line after you. If you take too long, I'll go to the next person. Okay. This is huge. You cannot buy knives from the 3 p.m. sale until 3 p.m., from the 6 p.m. sale until 6 p.m. But we, we, once a sale is open, like the noon sale, those knives are available until they're gone. Okay? Let's continue. Here's the 618, 618H. I hate the name, but man, I love, I really love this knife. Oh, man. Um, with titanium scales, M390 steel, 3.9 inch blade, three ounces. The reason I'm not opening it is we're already 18 minutes into this. This will be an hour and I don't want it to be an hour. Okay. Um, this is the Array Flipper. Again, titanium S35 VN steel fin. I only cherry picked what I felt were the classiest We Knife Company knives. They're so well built. They have great steel. Again, this has S35 VN steel, 3.7 inches. And then, to me, this just said Wee Knife. I had to have this. <laughs> okay. This is the double helix. It opens by pushing these two down. The springs on the outside. It's just a wonderful knife. They don't offer it anymore. S35 VN steel. 3.3 inch and then I have two slip joints the scamp and the gentry if you notice most of the knives that I have are just like a bronze color just super classy those are the wee knife knives remember we're going over the 6 p.m table then i'll post the 3 p.m and i'll post the noon tables today so if you need to study go back and forth over these knives um and apologize that it's so long but i must get through all these knives i had a huge bug out collection <laughs> i trimmed them all this is the only one left. A hard to find mini bug out that's all blacked out 
S30V steel. I have not offered this before. This is the Microtech QD Scallop Tanto Blade Blacked Out LMAX Steel. And let me just say, this is big discount. <laughs> You'll, it's still expensive, but I cut over $150 off of it, so you'll be able to see that. And here's the ProTech Godfather with that Desert Warrior, the brown, the, the uh, green, 154 CM steel, spear point, four inch blade. The sale is this Saturday, March 25th. That's why I'm posting this at noon, March 25th at noon, 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. PayPal only, USA only. It's the biggest trimming I've ever done. <laughs> A lot of spidercos, including fixed blades. We're working on the 6 p.m. table right now. These knives will be available at 6 p.m. There are a lot of great knives. I'm trying to go through them. I know people say you're breathing heavy. Well, I'm overweight and I'm 64. So, <laughs> and I have to turn off my fan. It's, it's 70 degrees, <laughs> like 77 today where I am. So I'm sweating as well. So let's continue. Microtech True Don. This is the Mini. It has 204P steel, Tanto, 1.9 inches. There's another small Microtech automatic. This is the Exoset. Both of these I have discounted a lot. 204P steel, a dagger, has a stone wash on it. Here is the, I'm surprised at how much I've taken off these knives. Remember, none of these knives have been used, okay? <laughs> they literally are, they've take, I've taken pictures with them. That's it. All factory edges, all of them. This is the Chris Reeve Impenda slip joint. Now these two hinderers flippers are not the newer hinderer flippers. They haven't been used. Someone bought this and then said, oh, it's not the new ones. <laughs> I hate it when they canceled it because I had other people who wanted it. But this is XM18, three inches, S35VN steel in great condition. I've discounted them a lot because they are not the newer version of themselves. XM18, 3.5 inch S35VN steel. Those are hinderer flippers. If you've ever wanted a hinderer flipper. Now, these are some customs. I have a lot of trouble selling custom knives on these sales. Let me just tell you, the customs hold the most value in this sale because I'm going to have to send these out to be sold for me to the custom market. So if you've ever looked to get a Beggs <laughs> Bodega 2, now this is the Dragon Lady. The thing with the Dragon Lady, these have not been used or pocketed, but see that little scuff? Can you even see it? I didn't polish them, but there's a little scuff here. And that's from me putting it in and out of my cases. Heavily discounted because I want to see if I can sell them to you and not pay all the fees. So I've subtracted a lot of the fees. These three knives I'm showing you right now, these customs, $2,200. <laughs> okay. But they are about half of that. 
not half of it, but a lot of it I've discounted. This is the Bottega 2 Norseman with N690 steel DLC blade. All of these knives, by the way, I've done individual videos of them on this channel. So if you go and search any of these knives, there's like a 98% chance that a knife will pop up, the knife that you want, and you will get a regular video from me, a knife of the day video, only on that knife. So if you want more information, you can go there as well. This is the last of the custom. Actually, it's the next to the last custom. This is the last of the $2,200 customs. This is a Mayo Hawkbill Damascus blade. This is a generalist. This is the only custom, well, besides one of the bodegas that I actually had made for me by Robert Carter. 3.4 inches. He had a plain, this was a raffle on uh, Instagram. I was lucky enough to see it. And he had a plain clip, but in order to win, I had to, I think I went up like to a thousand dollars. This is more like an $800 knife. And he is so great that he made this special clip for me. Emailing me while he was making it, which just made it, whoops, all the more special. Sorry, I have to reach around cameras and stuff. This is an awkward video, but it's business-like. I need to get through it. This is a Medford Panzer. Tanto blade, D2 steel, 2.5 inches. Now listen, I know I'm going to get criticized for not opening all the knives and everything. I really need to get three videos done to go over these knives. Please, I have videos on all of these. Google them. You will get to see the knife and the prices. And I'm trying to survive. I'm a little sick. Okay, let's go. Now, I have Browse Blade knives. These are the original mid-tech knives. These are not the cheap China knockoffs that go for like 50 bucks. Most of these were around 500. They're all limited. And all of them have not been used. This is a special caliber that he created outside of the regular run. It's a one of my best flippers, D2 steel. All of the browse blades have D2 steel. This had spear point. Now, here's my collection <laughs> of Silent Soldier flippers, which are very hard to find. It started with the Silent, of course, the Silent Soldier fixed blades, which I am not offering, and I have, which really made browse blades. Then he did a flipper, um, titanium liners, uh, D2 steel, push button. The first was um, a carbon fiber on both sides and a liner lock. Then he did carbon fiber with a frame lock. These only had 200 available. And then, of course, the hole is what made the Silent Soldier. And then he did only 100. Okay, only 100. He always did blacked out versions of his uh, knives. And then he did acid stone wash and he did a satin version. But he did all those within only the 100. These are so hard to find. It took me so long to get them. I overpaid for them. I heavily discounted these. Um, Remember, only a hundred available. This is the blacked out version, no hole version. That's what made them so special. They didn't have the hole. <laughs> okay. Ah, 
just wonderful. Titanium scales, frame lock. This is just, they're all just wonderful. This is the acid stone wash and the satin. One of the newer mid-tech flippers, uh, Silent Soldier flippers they made was the XL. And in this one, he didn't include a hole. It's not as limited as the others. It's bigger than the others. Fits great in the hands. Let's see, let me go down a little on this. Okay, the last seven knives in the 6 p.m. sale. So remember, Saturday, March 25th, 2023, at noon, 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. is the largest by far. I'm so scared that it's the largest. Largest trimming of my collection. Most of them are spidacles. It's the largest amount of spidacles that you've seen for sale. Um, it is PayPal only. You have to have a PayPal. It is USA only. Um, when you do PayPal, no friends and family, no friends or family, they'll shut me down. Just do regular PayPal. I'll take care of all the fees and everything. When you see the knife that you want, I will post a video exactly at 12 noon, exactly at 3 p.m., exactly at 6 p.m., which tells you the sell is on. They will have the prices in the descriptions and, a, and numbered of the knives as well. You tell me what knife you want. The number, the knife, that's in the subject. That, that's in the uh, subject on the email. And then in the body of the email, it's mine. That's what you do. I'll come back and say, it's yours. Or I'll say it's already sold. If you do multiple knives, you have to commit to buying all of the knives. If you say, I want five knives, and I come back to you and say, hey, only one is available, you must buy that knife, or you'll be disqualified for the sale. If you ask for three knives, and I say all three are available, thank you, then you must buy all three of those knives, because you will really screw this sale up, okay? So please... Um, Let's do this correctly. All right. That's the sale this Saturday, tomorrow, as I record this, March 25th, noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m. We are going over the 6 p.m. desk. Most of these knives are already posted. Stop it. Go back. This is the uh, Browse Center D2 Steel Flipper. Look at the back spacer. All titanium liners. All of the knives have titanium uh, liners. Carbon fiber. 3.2 inch. Remember, D2 Steel. Here's the Spydeco Strife, Tanto Blade, Blacked Out. I was really, really in my blacked out phase <laughs> with the Browse Blade. Carbon Fiber, 3.7 inch blade, 8.7 inches total. Here's the Browse Reloader Flipper. Blacked Out, 3.D2, 3.6 inch. Oh man, the Browse Enforcer <laughs> D2 Karambic. Oh man. Um, let's see, 2.5 inch blade. The Browse Blade VR71 with carbon fiber, titanium scales. Oh man, this is carbon fiber backspacer. He does great work. He really did. 
All of these I have seriously discounted. <laughs> like $200 or more. None of these have been used. Most of them come with just this wonderful mini Pelican case packaging and everything else. VR71 four inch blade, just a wonderful knife. Remember, all of these are on my channel because I've done all of the individual videos. So just Google first, if you're on my channel, just go ahead, search for the name of the knife and a video will pop up. This is the Stonewash Raven, an Isham Browse Blades collaboration. 3.8 inches and this is the Browse Echelon flipper D2 4.1 inches that's it those are the whew, those are the knives I'm sorry that I'm old I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry it's taking so long but I do I did want to go knife by knife the next video that I will post will be the table for the three o'clock sale. And then the last today on Friday will be the table for the noon sale. So all of the knives will go over one by one. The sale is Saturday, tomorrow as I record this, March 25th, 2023, noon, three, 6 p.m., PayPal only, US only, good luck. You know, I do this with my collection. I do these sales and I only do them on my uh, Instagram. By the way, go to Instagram and get as much information as you need. On my Instagram followers and for you guys, because I love you. You've been with me for a very long time and all of this collection. So it's my chance to sell my collection back to you because uh, we spent a lot of time with it. It's only to you guys. I'm trying my best not to do eBay and inflate the prices. Trying my best not to do outside. And that's why I'm offering these to you. I appreciate you all. Good luck for the sale tomorrow. Goodbye.